Hi. Here we are. It's <laughs> the, uh, the penultimate. It is part four. Today is part four of the amazing five-part osteology series that we have for you. Uh, and, you know, same place, same time, same outfits. Same hair. Yeah, go enjoy it. Stay dirty. What are we learning today, Jude? Today we're going to talk about some of the other things you can see in your bones that are not on everyone, but relative to Raven's dented head on some people. <laughs> so we're talking about diseases and trauma and all of those things that stuff some people have in their bones. What's first? What do you want to talk about first? This right. is, there's so many fun things that I have so many questions on in front of me. Are Should you... I just like pick a bone and yeah. you're going to tell me about it? Yeah. Or do you want to do like... Sure, let's do that. Well, you, how about you tell me what, what's happening? <laughs> I'll take this one. Looks like a turkey leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, <laughs> this is uh, osteosarcoma. So this is a tumor, really bad tumor. Okay, tumor. this is a tumor. Yeah, a malignant tumor, really bad. Obviously you don't want to, you don't think that's benign. No. So where um, does this, is a femur? Yeah, it would. So yeah. it goes here? Yes but it just has a lot going on. There. Okay, this is a femur. <laughs> this is a femur. So this is what a normal femur looks like. Yes, other way. Yes. <laughs> you got it. The femur. So this is a normal femur. Yes. And this is what's happening now. Okay, Yeah. so this is a, he's just astounded <laughs> by what's happening here with his leg. I'm sorry, sir. Tell me about this tumor. Well, there are just certain things that you can see in bones. So relative to a tumor, obviously tumor is one of the things that you can sometimes see in the bone. Yeah. And there's just, in this one, it's just the bone reacts, right? And so yeah. there's something attacking mm -hmm. your body. And so in this way, the body reacted by producing new um, bone. New bone. And it just grows and grows and grows and it's just an absolute mess. And that must hurt, like that's in your hip, right? So that would be, yeah, this this wouldn't be, I don't think it's a full femur. No. Like it'd be at some point here. Oh, okay. Yeah. That still or hurts. Or it be like, the, oh, it would be That awful. still fits in your body, right? Like, ow. Yeah. Okay, so this is what a tumor can look like on your bone. Yeah, you Got can it. see it in different ways, but that's, that's an example. example. Yeah, very cool. All right, yes. very nice. Yes, so it's not a turkey leg. No, sorry. <laughs> to, to this poor person that had it. This is the cast of a real bone. So this yeah. is like a real thing that happened to somebody. It's if you That's, ever have an anatomy museum or an osteology museum, it's astounding. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Go. All right. So there's that one. Yeah. Okay. So, so that is this is a disease. So you can see diseases on the bone, like the tumor. Okay. What other diseases? So can let's you talk see? about okay. Let's talk about something that's a little bit more. I guess this is obviously it can be common, but yeah. that extent. So okay. let's talk about tuberculosis, okay. which still exists today. Though. Yes. So these are examples of tuberculosis. Okay. What part of the body is that? Spine. Yes. It's yes. And this. Ostacoxa. 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 Yeah. Their pelvis. Yes. Okay. And so, so obviously tuberculosis is a bacterial infection. Yeah. You can. You get it from other people, from coughing and all the terrible, terrible ways to get something, unfortunately. And so, okay. basically, obviously it affects the lungs first, yep. but tuberculosis is visible in the skeleton because it, the bones react to it as well. And so ribs are a nice little example. I don't have any cast of it, but That's you can see it in the ribs. Okay. They just look very, very bad. <laughs> well, kind of weak bone. Yeah. And on the spine here, I see there's like a lots of lines. Yeah. Is that something from TB? Yeah, so it okay. just basically, the spine, when you don't have any of the, any cartilage or anything around it, keeping it together, the tendons, yeah. then they're all separated. And right, so- Right, these are together, these are fused. Mm -hmm. exactly. Oh, yeah. okay. And so your body reacts, the same kind of thing. So the way that your skeleton knows how to react to things is by just freaking out. <laughs> just goes haywire. And okay, so that's exactly how I do things. I freak yeah. out. It's biological, guys. It's exactly how <laughs> it's I react okay to, freak to everything. Out. And so what happens when the bone freaks out is yeah. it develops more bone. It's just exploding, basically. <laughs> Not really. But it basically develops new bone. So in tuberculosis, yeah. you can see that there's new bone formation. And also it wears, it takes away bone too. And so it just freaks out, goes in every direction. You get mm. bone um, formation over here. So that's where the femur originally would be. And if you remember in the last video, it's pretty clear, this mm -hmm. spot. It's just a nice little like It's a hole. good hole. Yeah. But here it doesn't look healthy. There are holes no. in the bone. 
Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's like pinky size. Okay. And so it just reacts to the bone in a number of ways, and it's all throughout the body. So that's mm -hmm. tuberculosis, for example. That's tuberculosis. You, okay. Nowadays, this isn't as common. You can get treated and get healed, but it's still not a fun disease to have. No. Or infection. Not at all. So this is a little more subtle. Mm -hmm. So this is periostitis. Periostitis is there like a layman's term for periostitis. So essentially, it's again your body reacting, but this is just a reaction, and it could be to a lot of things. There's a lot of things that can cause periostitis. Yeah. And so you'll see that the bone is a little more porous. There is new bone formation. You see little bone spurs, little bits of bone sticking out places mm -hmm. they shouldn't. And so something like this could also happen if you get kicked in the shin a lot. Your bone's just responding to something and it's reacting. And so that is a reaction to, well, many things basically. Yeah. So that's a little more, for example, I hit my shins a lot. And so it wouldn't be unusual for me. So do my, I fall up the stairs a lot. It's possible. And I hit my shins a lot. I'm also I'm very curious. I always fall on my knee a lot. <laughs> and <laughs> a lot. My one knee. <laughs> Um, I'm just like very concerned now that my bones look like this. I mean, it's not the worst compared to this. <laughs> this is true, <laughs> but it's just it's just a little reaction. Like, so your bone again when it reacts, it freaks out a bit, and so it starts developing new bone. That's kind of yeah. one of the reactions that your skeleton has, and it just forms and like it, this. And it forms sometimes. Way, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, what is? Oh my. Oh, this is this is a femur. Yes. This small, is a femur. A, a little femur. This is a femur. We're all different shapes and sizes, guys. This is so this okay. Is a wholesome. This is lesson. just like so interesting because yeah. it's. Okay, so what causes this? The scientific term for this is osteomyelitis. osteomyelitis. And it's essentially the same thing. It's just a reaction of the bone relative okay. to infections. It can be to traumas, but it's again the bone freaking out. That's the thing so we're like, learning here. The bone yeah. freaks out. Yeah. So okay. this is just another example of a bone reaction to infections. Yeah. Trauma. It could be um, introduced to the bone through surgery. So then, let's say there's a blood infection, oh, the bone freaks out. So the yeah. doctors can like cause this too. <laughs> sure, <laughs> doctors are great. Modern but medicine. Things happen. Things okay. happen. And so you obviously don't want this to happen. And no. this is complete new bone formation. So that would this not be pleasant. Bone. No, yeah. that would hurt. That it's would like hurt. when you were when you were little and you have growing pains. Oh God, yeah, no. I remember this that. Is... And like, yeah, those growing pains. This is like your bones this... growing. <laughs> Wow, this one. All right. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Anyways. So there's that one. Syphilis is a nice example. Syphilis. So syphilis, okay. the word that everyone cringes when they hear. Um, rampant in the past. I have a fun story about syphilis. Okay, please. But I don't know if it's true or not. I was watching QI. So if it's wrong, we blame Stephen Fry. Okay. Okay. Um, there was something like the warning label on antibiotics about how you can't drink with them yeah. because they like lessen the effect or something. Apparently what became about because of syphilis because men that were on syphilis antibiotics they didn't want them to drink because they wanted to keep them to keep it in their pants because it took a while for the syphilis antibiotics to start working to, so they stopped passing it on to people so they wanted them to not get drunk. <laughs> so that's my little fun syphilis fact. I don't know if it's true. I've not checked out this fact, but uh, you know, I thought it's Stephen Fry. Stephen um, Fry. So that's my little fun thing. Oh my thing. god. Yeah. I could say so many things about this. There's so many. That's why you're not supposed to drink on antibiotics. So it's true. I've been saying it's a lie. That I can <laughs> drink with antibiotics. I want my wine and beer. It's part of the healing process. Yeah, but yeah. if I don't have syphilis, I don't have syphilis. <laughs> if I don't have syphilis, then can you drink? Is well, that what you're like, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> I don't know if like different and I don't know if it's now because you know that was like a while ago when antibiotics yeah. first came out, but that was like that's how like the whole like don't drink while on antibiotics <laughs> myth or kind of practice was first. Okay. But yeah, that's so, my little fun syphilis story. So tell me so this yeah, so this is what happens when syphilis goes wrong. Yeah. Syphilis is um, pretty obvious when you see it. Um, it is terrible. If this is a, a cast, so we're a little safer here. So you can see Oh, yeah. yeah. Gross. Okay. So the bone's resorbing, and so you're losing bone. It looks like cottage cheese. Yeah. It looks like blue cheese, actually. It, like that little design. <laughs> Your head becomes blue cheese. <laughs> and so you could see, and you can see it in the eyes. You could see it if you turn it upside down to the bottom. So you can see underneath the 
Magzilla uh, palette. palette. And so, and you can see that all throughout the skeleton. And so with the long bones, for example, you will see the same kind of effect where you get the bone exploding in many ways. So your bone is le legitimately pussing. Like there are holes to that extent on yeah. all of your long bones. They're getting, they're swelling up to an extent. They're getting, it's just a very, very nasty thing to see. Yeah. And so it's very, very obvious in the skeleton and it just happens so quickly. And which is why it's such a, it was such a, such a big killer. Yeah. <laughs> Because Ouch. it's literally breaking you apart. Thank God for <laughs> antibiotics. Right? Yeah, so praise. And praise keeping science. it in your pants. Now, this is a real bone. I've yep. been staring at it the whole time we've been filming. This is a real bone here. Now, what, what, first of all, what is this bone? And what is yes. wrong with it? This is. No? No? Higher or lower? Higher. Higher? Yeah. It's your collarbone. <laughs> Clavicle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so, well, if you've ever broken a bone, <laughs> that's that. This is obviously a more extreme example. Okay. Um, uh, this happens more so, so if you would have a clean break, for example, in the past, yeah. though they did do a lot of good work in trying to heal things or in fixing things, obviously it's not the case all the time. Mm -hmm. Clavicle or your collarbone is kind of hard to heal. If anyone's ever broken it, you'll realize that because it's not like you can cast it in the same way as your yeah. arm. Well, it's this bone here, Exactly. Right? And it's so... A weird position. She's sassy today. Yeah, she's okay. looking at you. Oh. So that is a really extreme break. And obviously, okay. a healing bone is evidence of survival, right? And so a lot of people will look at a bone that's broken up in this way, and they're like, oof, that killed them. But if a bone is healed, it means that they survived that period afterwards ah. to heal. So it's kind of a little thing, it's a little paradox. It's not a cause of death. It's not a cause of death. And so healing, even if you have terrible, terrible disease, well, terrible, terrible traumas and stuff, and they're healed, it means they survive. This is also a fracture, you can see. Mm -hmm. It's kind of twisted a little bit. Oh yeah, it's kind of like... Yeah. I have another fun fracture story. I fractured my humerus once when I was 12. <sighs> fractured this bone. This is a humerus? You found a humerus! Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> found a humerus. This is it. Right? Wait. How does it go? It's twisted. Be your it's a left humerus. Left. Yeah. Well, I broke this humerus. Like but I was trying to play baseball. And uh, I wasn't even on the field. Let's just put it that way. I was trying to learn how to slide. It didn't go so well. On that note, though, that year, my team won silver. Because I wasn't. <laughs> because I wasn't <laughs> playing it because I was off. That Raven anyways, is so humorous. Ah! <laughs> so funny. I'm so sorry. That was He's laughing. a blasphemer. He thinks, he, he thinks you're hilarious. Blasphemer. <laughs> There's a point now, especially because we're able to heal fractures or heal broken bones really well. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's not even visible. If it happens young enough, it might not even be visible. <gasps> and especially if it wasn't a complete fracture, if it was very slight. Yeah. Um, then you might not even see it, very quite cool. frankly. But in older adults, obviously, it doesn't, you're, sorry, your body's degenerating a little bit and so it's not healing as fast and so that could be visible. Yeah. And it's also relative to if somebody in the past or whenever broke their bone and then died soon after for whatever other reason, then obviously you're going to see that. Yeah. And you can determine how much it's healed because you'll see the oh, bone okay. starting to heal itself. Got it. So yeah. you base it on that. And Bones. this is a tibia. Yes. This is a real bone. This is a cast. Okay, so what's wrong with this bone? Well, what do you see? It's bent. Yes. So that is a metabolic disease. That's rickets. This is rickets. So rickets, we see it more so if you watch TV. You see those kind of older TV shows of things in the past and Outlander. Oh, <laughs> you know, the, don't get me started on Outlander. <laughs> the oh. Scottish king, the... <gasps> The first oh, one you know is legs with his legs, bowed. the yeah. bowed legs. Yeah. So there's a couple things that can lead to kind of bowing, but rickets yeah. is a more common example. Okay. And it comes from it's a developmental disease, and so it comes from malnutrition and that kind of stuff as a child. Mm -hmm. Vitamin D deficiency, for example, and your bones will bow. And sometimes there are really extreme examples of it, but you can very clearly see that something's not even just from an external observer can. See no, that. that something's a little weird. Yeah, and this you can see normal. that when people are just walking around too, because they're yeah. kind of yeah. Okay. A bit of a bend. So Very cool. Eat your 
vegetables. Yeah. Vitamin D, go in the sunshine. Get some outside. D, get some D. So those were breaks and that was, that was breaks and diseases. Yes. That's awesome. Thanks so much you guys for coming along on that installment of Osteology 101 yes. with us. A uh, big thank you to Jude, thank you Jude. For you know hanging out with me as much as you do, and thank you to Leiden University for letting us film on location. That was pretty awesome with all the equipment. Uh, it's really great. So thanks for that. The osteology department in particular. The osteology department was such a huge help with this. So shout out to them. If you want to learn more about the osteology program at Leiden, put the link in my description below. Super cool place. Highly recommend the Netherlands to come and study. But you know, same here. We're biased. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Follow Jude on Instagram. Definitely follow her on Instagram. It's here, Jude Archives. Jude's, Jude's Archives. Jude's Archives. She's super fun, super exciting. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already because, you know, Jude's on there. Two for one, it's great. Very nice. And of course, as always, stay dirty, my friends. <laughs>